What's up, y'all? We about to get into the seafood. We bowl. ain't no cult. Let's clear that up now. Okay. Ain't no cult, bit. Seafood bowl, mukbang, uh, Miss D Day. You know what I'm saying? We about to get into this video. You dig? Uh, let's do this. Hurry up. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And with the goddamn hair, your league. So listen. <clears throat> First of all, it's just one of them days. I'm lit. Voice halfway gone, child. I'll be waking up feeling like a damn turtle is in my throat. I don't know. I'm sick of it. But um, we about to get into this video. You dig what I'm saying? And yes, yeah, sir. She probably gonna make me hungry, but whatever. Let's get into it. Incoming call from Aries season. Girls, girls, from Aries season. season is fine that candle what? change is fine she have a different candle every day that's fine what's up og so your girl is back with another freaking video and y'all already know what time it is if you read by the title and if you see your girl is doing a seafood mukbang so this is the first ever mukbang on my channel and your mukbang. girl is super 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 excited because the one y'all already know i love to eat and y'all know if you know if you know you know my favorite food is seafood so today your girl is going to be eating i asked you guys on instagram topics y'all want me to speak about so i screenshotted some good topics that i'm talking about while i'm eating and i got snow crab king crab look at this y'all this is so freaking big corn potatoes and then i got shrimp shrimp with the head on so <laughs> let me tell y'all something i used to eat my shrimp with the head off but when i tell y'all shrimp with the head on is life changing thank me later if you don't eat it like this try it at least one time and thank me later y'all and i got my extra sauce because we need extra sauce for i ain't dipping. gonna lie i and never tried it but uh -uh. because girls trying to be healthy and I actually asked y'all what I should eat on my mukbang, and a lot of people said seafood. Like, literally, so many people said seafood. And I said, okay, since this is my first mukbang on my channel, I do I'm seafood. Quite. But after this, I'm not doing no more seafood because I feel like everybody always wants to see seafood. But I want to eat something different, and it was I, I had some conversations with some mukbangers, and they said, if you're not eating seafood, people don't even want to watch the damn video. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm gonna have a different type of mukbang channel, bitch, because I am not eating seafood every day. I will not. Thing somebody said, I believe, ooh, what was it? I think it was either pasta or Haitian food. One of the two. But I definitely want to do like another culture next time. So maybe like Haitian food or Italian food, like pasta, because I like pasta and I like that. First thing like first, let pasta, me go my to my topics me. and let me pick the first one. Y'all, you know, when you get older, like certain shit, you just can't even eat no more. And bitch, pasta is one. Okay, I can't even. Bitch, eat a noodle. I'll be feeling like I'm about to, I, I got gas for you. That's... Before I get my hands dirty. And so I ain't got to be touching my phone. The first thing was pretty much. I can't do that. So y'all, when you eat it, you got to suck the head. And then you gotta suck the body, and then you gotta take it off. Wait. Okay, so this is the topic. It was pretty much. I know, I'm looking like, eh. listen, because that's how I feel. <laughs> like, I need my shrimp deveined. Okay? If y'all don't know, shrimp with the head on is the shrimp, how my boy died. You know what I'm saying? So, if he just so happened to take a shit, I. <laughs> that shit is right in the middle of the body but not only that y'all i did not know how much <laughs> i didn't know we was eating the ass end of everything okay like when you really find out what you eating uh but listen i ain't eating no shrimp poop bro and, you know, certain foods you eat, you got to pray you ain't eating poop in general. But, boy, if I know that shrimp 
poop. <laughs> I'm not eating that shit, bro. How's the single life and do you plan on dating again? So my single life is amazing, y'all. I am enjoying being single, like I told y'all for the millionth time. <laughs> If you don't know, I am single and I am not in a rush to get in another relationship. I am enjoying being single. Do I plan on dating again? It depends, y'all. It depends on what y'all freaking idea of dating is. Like, what's y'all definition of dating and what's my definition of dating and what's my definition of being in an actual relationship versus dating? Because dating is kind of like you just talking to other people here and there, da 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 da. Nothing's really serious, but in a relationship, it's like in a relationship. What's it like being talked about all the time? I know you say you don't care, but it's still crazy. <laughs> and I feel like for people who not in this space, don't really understand. Oh when I say I don't care, I don't care. But it's not a matter of it does not irritate me, it doesn't aggravate me, or it doesn't annoy me because 100% it does. But since I've been in this space for so long, yeah, it's my struggling life. struggling to get that meat out. People are gonna have an opinion on my life. People are gonna talk about my life. People are gonna talk about me. People are gonna she talk about what it. I do, what I don't do. So, I mean, it's just a lot. Hey, you know what? That is not, listen, I was talking to somebody the other day and they were saying, uh, basically if we date and I'm not, like you can't have, fuck with somebody else. And I just think that that is crazy. Like, like you already starting the, the, the relationship off controlling. <laughs> don't nobody want no controlling ass woman like i don't get that y'all that y'all y'all gotta let's let's um uh, what you call that shit let's normalize uh w when you're in a talking stage actually be in the talking stage like that's just a uh a, like you putting all your eggs in one basket that's crazy and y'all not in a committed relationship that's crazy like TT was talking to niggas and I was talking to bitches and we knew. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas and I got bitches. Like, that's what we was doing. So I just, mm -mm. we didn't start the relationship off of control and we're not going to end the relationship with control. I think that that's crazy. <laughs> sometimes I get annoyed, sometimes I get irritated, but it is what it is. Oh, this is a good topic. So, real friends versus industry friends or dating pre-social media versus dating now. So, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> when it comes to real friends versus industry friends, which I know it's like this whole stigma of, oh, you yeah, don't collab with nobody. Dating and yeah. talking is the same shit. I'm going to go ahead and be real with y'all. It's, like, it's not that I don't collab with people because I have before and I'm not opposed to it. It's a difference between, for me, I feel like it's a difference between me just wanting to collab with somebody just to collab with somebody because, oh, that is somebody or that is a person I can gain from. Because if I'm being quite honest, I don't really need to do collabs or I don't really have to collab with anybody just to gain. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm in a space in my life, your girl is about to be 26, and I am in a space in my life where I feel like I ain't looking for no friends or I'm not looking to... I'm not looking for friends or people that I can benefit off of or just be like, oh, I'm friends with this person or, oh, I know this person. Like, I'm cool on it. <laughs> I'm there. Right. I don't need that. No, I'm dead serious because I feel like some people will literally go out their way to want to collab with me and be my friend, but don't even want to, like, get to know me. It's just like, oh, let's see what we can do on social media. I know people will like us, so we're going to get a lot of pictures. Which is crazy because I will say, um... You know, she's a dope ass person. I'm not going to cap. So, like, when she say, like, <clears throat> I'm doper outside of YouTube, she ain't lying. She's really, really, really a dope person. Um, So, yeah, like, I ain't going to lie either. Like, people, people do want to associate themselves with you for clout. <laughs> like, I can't act like I haven't been there. We all been there. But, man, you know. Like, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know these days, you'll know if somebody really fuck with you for you. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know, then your discernment ain't all the way there. But, yeah, you'll know if somebody just wants you for clout. So we're going to get a lot of views. No. No, ma'am. I'm looking to have real friendships. I'm looking to have longevity. <laughs> I'm looking to have long-standing friendships. I'm looking to, like, be friends with people. Like, I don't, I don't want one-off friends if you get what I mean like I don't need 
to collab with somebody just to get views and I don't need to collab or take a picture with somebody just to get likes and right. then boom that's that and you know just for social media like I'm I'm straight on that like I want people I want actual friends I can call and I can talk to about real life shit because this is real life so that's how I look at it it's not a, right. it's not a matter of not wanting to not collab or be friends with nobody outside of I guess the norm but I just look at it like if you want to be my friend or you want to actually actually be my friend then come up come up, approach me as if you want to be my friend not what you can gain or what, from me or what you could how you can benefit from me because that's automatically gonna turn me off in every way friendship relationship all that I'm real like when it comes to friendships and all of that like y'all when I tell y'all <laughs> when I tell y'all I'm really I'm really good like I became I became best friends with supporters like I became friends with just random people I met they don't even probably have social media or not really on social media or probably not how I didn't even know who I was like that's the type of friendships that I actually cherish and actually enjoy because these are people who are looking at me as a normal person these are people who are looking right. at me and like me for me and that's what I prefer, honestly. And dating pre-social media versus dating now. Well, I'm gonna be real with y'all. When it comes to dating now, I'm 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% sure, 100%. Y'all, I got a little pop. You gotta get a cracker, friend. I'm 100% sure. I mean, sure. you know what I'm saying, Paul's not a cracker. A <laughs> uh, crab cracker, okay. That my next relationship, I don't want my next whoever to have social media. Like, I'm good on it. Like, social media, I... I am enough social media. Like <laughs> I am who I am on social media, and I feel like that's more than enough. Like I would, like I w wouldn't want my partner to have social media. So I feel like now, in the day and age that we are in, it's very hard to find somebody who doesn't have social media. And when it comes to like my relationship on social media, that's a no go. Like I want to say it'll never happen, or I never post a picture because I'm not gonna say never. But when it comes to like just broadcasting my whole relationship. I don't want to do that. I, don't I feel like them. social media is just too, <clears throat> it's too much. And it's too much for a relationship and just in general. Like it's already hard enough for a single person my, like myself who's already on, on social media. I already have. Stud Poppy don't got social media. <laughs> so many people come in on my life and just be in a. You said it, I didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I was like, nah. <laughs> In the spotlight. We did that yesterday. Like, I feel like that's enough. And I feel like social media brings so much pressure. Like, I feel like when it comes it to social media, people <clears throat> feel like, oh, since I'm in a relationship with this person, oh, I gotta post a picture about this person. Oh, I gotta say happy birthday to this person. That becomes draining. And I don't wanna have to feel obligated to do that. So I really prefer, I really would prefer my next partner to not have social media. And when it comes to me posting on social media, it will be very limited. Um, do I still want marriage? I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with y'all. I do still want to get married, but I seen this TikTok and it was a good, a good, TikTok. a good eye opener because the TikTok was basically saying how they you don't really. You see how much you got a pill off on the lost shrimp? to, well, they care to get married, but it's not really like a big deal when it comes to like a wedding or just having this big extravagant wedding because it's kind of like. You're paying all this money to pretty much showcase your love to people <laughs> for one day. So I kind of felt that, felt that but hell. when it comes to marriage, I still want to get married. I mean, I don't know. it is what it is. <laughs> I wouldn't say I don't want to get married, and I'm, I wouldn't say I'm, I, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't get married. Let's just say that. But I'm not really hyped about the whole marriage thing. Like I'm, I'm. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. And if I'm in a relationship with somebody and marriage is not really like a big deal for that person, then I'm not really tripping on it either. When it comes to marriage and like my wedding and stuff like that, it wouldn't be like a scrap. I feel like my, if I get married, for real, for real. I feel like with marriage, you go in debt just like you go in debt with school. Like, ain't nothing but something that's going to cost you some more money. You know what I'm saying? And like, I get marriage with um assets and shit, you know, but you don't always have to be married to to um provide somebody with your assets if anything were to happen to you. I just found that out the other day, but um yeah. 
I have a destination wedding, like somewhere in another country. And it'll probably just be close friends, close family, and nobody got to be if it's in it. another country. <laughs> Girl, niggas got to uh, plan a year ahead. <laughs> Traveling, your plans for the future. And they said seafood or soul food. Like, next time, y'all, I might do soul food. Mocha bay. But, mmm, that sounds so good. <clears throat> <laughs> but, traveling, oh, uh, y'all, I'm probably going to about mm, my birthday trip. Ah, y'all see where I go for my birthday trip. I'm going to St. Martin for my family vacation. I'm going to Aruba, I believe, for my friend's birthday. I'm supposed to be going to Mexico. Damn. And I'm also supposed to be going to London all this year, 2022. So, y'all, you know, that's my oh cat. Oh, y'all hear a cat? <laughs> I got cats. I ain't never heard a cat but, in her video <laughs> ever. Those are all the plans no, this when it new. comes to travel this year. My plans for the future is pretty much focusing on myself and becoming bigger and better than I ever been. Like, I have goals, y'all. And the goal I'm trying to I'm reach. I'm not paying for nobody drinks or food, money goes. I have to stay focused. Move. I'm trying to be oh, a shark. Oh, okay, all that. And if you've seen that show on TV called Shark, shark Tank, then you know what I'm talking about. Somebody said, oh, this is so funny, which is why I screenshot it, but it's really not a topic, but... I'm gonna talk about it here. It was pretty much like, why do you keep going ghost on us? You're not even a YouTuber anymore at this point. And I feel like- Now, you know what, before she even say anything, <clears throat> cause child, I don't want ghost. Like this morning, I woke up at, what time is it right now? I woke up at 7 a.m. No, I woke up at 6 a.m. And I edited, I did my thumbnails, I did my titles. And that was only for two fucking videos, bro. And I put them out. I, I premiered them. For me to really capitalize off YouTube, I need to be putting out 10, 15 videos a day to make the money that I desire to make from YouTube. And, bitch, that's a day. Now, granted, DNB Nation did it. Um, and several other YouTubers have done it. They was doing it at a time where YouTube was like really paying. Okay. With that being said, at some point, you got to take a break, bro. And I'm so glad that I did. Like, taking a break, <laughs> taking a break here lately was probably one of the best decisions, one of the best, one of the most conscious decisions I've ever made in my YouTube career. Like, I needed that shit. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you need to gather your thoughts. You need to be able to recreate, you know, uh, to come up with better ideas. You got to get to talking to new people. I've been talking to so many people. And the advice that I've been given or even just the, you know, like, well, I think you should. If you don't, you don't. But if you if you thought about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just sometimes who's going to motivate the 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 motivated? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you motivate it all the time and then you have your moment where it's like, damn, I am not motivated right now. I need some fucking help, okay? And, um, yeah, that's where I was. So, you know, I need a break, yeah. You're not even... I don't regret it at all. <laughs> But I feel like my real supporters, y'all know what it is. Like when it comes to me posting on YouTube and if I go ghost on YouTube, I'm working. I'm either working or I'm getting my life together. Like it's just that. And it's not about me not being a YouTuber no more. Like I does this. And when I post, I post. And if you've seen this video, baby, this is 17 videos straight. And your girl is Thanks. working. Like you got, I got <laughs> things coming. Like I'm not just sitting around. When I'm not posting, just sitting around looking at the sky, not and doing And that's what I think people think you doing. Like, when you don't post, I think people think you just sitting twiddling your fingers. Like, bitch, I'm out here. Like, I'm really, like, out here. Like, boy, if people really knew <laughs> what it took to be or what it takes to be behind the scenes, like, to really make YouTube a business, boy, 
Yeah, I have no idea. Well, nothing. Like I'm actually doing stuff, to, something to the point where vlogging and making videos and making content. And she ain't to even editing. Take a pause because I have to Girl. put my time and energy into other things that I want to work on. But yeah, it says when you're ready to give up, what motivates you? And then the other one was, and the other one was pretty much what motivates me. I mean, on your bad days, what gives you that drive to keep pushing? I said this in a Q and A, and the one main thing that gets me up and going on a bad day, if I'm having a bad day, or what keeps me motivated, are my supporters. Like I feel like you, I feel like if you can relate, you can relate. But like having people look up to you and people who really, really, truly, truly love too. you for you inside and really enjoy you as a person or enjoy watching you. I feel like that's what keeps me motivated. Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep cutting off because vicariously, child, I'll be living through these videos, but everybody that I, I, I was doing Uber two weeks strong, baby, to the point where my ass, you know, was hurting. It don't hurt today because I went to the chiropractic and some shit. But, um... And TT gave me a massage. So, uh, everybody who got in the car, right, with Uber. I am not embarrassed to say I did Uber. I made $2,000 last week. And let me tell you something. That was Uber. And I am openly willing to tell you that because I understand this. <laughs> okay? Uber do what it got to do, baby. But last week, I had people in the car. And, and everybody who... I told them, I was like, you know, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm trying to figure everything out because I'm talking to them. They talking to me about they life. I'm talking to them about my life. And um, they like, well, what's your channel name? So I give them my channel name <laughs> or my Instagram name. Everybody like, what? Like <laughs> everybody that wants to do what I want to do. They look at my shit like, oh, my God. Nigga, we made it. And I'm looking like, nigga, I didn't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you have no idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, being at the same numbers, just not feeling motivated or just feeling like I can do more, but what the fuck am I going to be doing? Like, it's just so much but I will say people, you get your best support from sh people who never seen you a day in their life or people who didn't even know that you was who you was. That's just, it's crazy. If it's days I get up where I'm like, I don't wanna do this no more or I don't wanna film or I don't wanna do that, I really think about my supporters and I'm like, <clears throat> no matter how hard, how hard I am I'm on myself because I am a perfectionist and sometimes I can get in my head or I'd be like, oh, it's not working now, so I don't want to do it. But then I think about mm -hmm. my supporters, and it's like people out there really, really do mess with me, like really do like me and really enjoy mm -hmm. me. And I feel like I be overthinking sometimes, but I, know I, do. I feel like that's one thing that keeps me motivated is my supporters. When it comes to this YouTube stuff, and every single thing that I've done in my life, my granddad has always been there, always been supportive. And my granddad was always like a go-getter, like he was all about his money. So <laughs> every time I think about like, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't feel like it's going to work out. We're just downing myself. I think about my granddaddy. Oh, y'all was listening to a podcast the other day. That's another thing. I've been, I just been listening. Okay. Bitch. I need to, I need a teacher. I've been listening. And uh, this guy said, if you were who, okay. If you were friends with how you treat yourself, so if you were friends with people that treat you the way you treat yourself, you wouldn't even have friends because you would be cutting bitches off. Like if you was like, yo, I do not want to get up. I don't feel like doing this. I know if I had a friend that said, I'm be like, yo, what you mean? Like, what you mean you don't want to get up? Like you lazy or something wrong with you or whatever. Meanwhile, I could say it to myself, though, like, I don't want to get up, or I just, I can't do this, or, you know, um, <clears throat> like, I can't do whatever it is I want to do, and it's like, if somebody that I was cool with was telling me that shit, they wouldn't be telling me that no more, because they wouldn't be my damn friend. So, how is it that I could tell myself these things and accept it, 
but not but not accepted from other people like you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna lie that was some real shit <laughs> not what my granddaddy would want he would tell me to keep his known and get to the back and don't let nothing distract you and don't let anything your thoughts your mind because your mind y'all your mind consumes you like the things that you think about you really have to yeah. think about positive things because if you think of negative things i swear to god it will literally you like your life will become negative like your thoughts Thanks. the thoughts that you have in your head like if they're negative you're going to automatically live a negative life so you have to think positive speak positive positive things will happen Okay, right. somebody said your birth control experience before and after what you did to not get pregnant. <laughs> I was on birth control for about three years straight, I believe. I'm not on birth control anymore. Not like I need it. <laughs> I'm not on birth control anymore. Not like I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> before and after what you did to not get pregnant <laughs> i was on birth control for about three years straight i believe i'm not on birth control anymore not like i need it <laughs> blaze <laughs> girl she said i'm not on birth control anymore not like i need it that's some shit tt that's saying before <laughs> excuse me why you don't need it <laughs> Not like I need it. <laughs> With that About little fucking straight, grin. Believe. I'm not on birth control anymore. Not like I need it. <laughs> Girl, and don't need it. Do you hear me? That face said it all. Said it all, friend. I'm cracking up. Oh, God. Just don't need it at all. Child, I heard TT have a conversation with somebody before. She was like, yeah, something about birth control, but Jerry, I don't need it. I don't need it no more. Don't need it at all, actually. Don't need no 48 after hour pills. Don't need no, none of that shit. What I need it for? <laughs> not like I need it. I got to have that. About three years straight, <laughs> I believe. I'm not on birth control anymore. Not like I need it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was on birth control, I feel like the birth control... I was on depot, so Girl, I got a shot. don't need it. I do it every You know what? I will say, and I'm not saying that, you know, she saying that because she fucked with a girl, child. Because in all, in all honesty, to keep it all the way 100, to keep it a book with y'all, to just to be all the way truthful with y'all, to be absolutely honest with y'all, to be all the way hot with y'all, to be as 100 as I possibly can be with y'all. I don't know if they are fucking with a girl or not. I don't know if Stop Poppy, you know what I'm saying? Do it with Stop Poppy, if you do it over there, I don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? But what I will say is in a situation with a lesbian, y'all don't be needing that. Like, you ain't got to worry about the next morning, like, oh shit, did I? Did he? You, you don't have to worry about that. And the thing is, like, you winded because, like, I made you. I made you do that like a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm back to back. Had to drink and you're going back to back. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my, oh my God. Oh, oh my, oh my God. So, oh my God. So you knocked out. It's, it'd be one of them like, it's too big. It's too big. Wake up in the morning. I know with dudes, y'all wake up in the morning like, what the fuck? <laughs> Not naked. Oh, Lord. What did I do? Do I need a plan B? Can you send me sis at all? I don't know how much a plan B is, but can you send me how much it is? Or oh, the nigga got the plan B beside the bed. Ain't nobody got time to be taking pills for this. I don't have time for that. You don't have to worry about that with us. Ooh, I forgot y'all. I forgot what it is. How often are you supposed to get your depot shot? But that's what I got. I got depot shot. Snoring, slobbing, and, and everything. I know I maybe <laughs> wake, wake up at 12 30. Don't know what the next day had to go to work at eight o'clock in the a.m. Didn't go to sleep till seven. <laughs> don't know what the fuck. And wait in all the wrong places. And I was just lazy. <laughs> like, I don't like the feeling. Like, I, be I began to have so many headaches, I think. So I ended up getting off of it. And I feel like I literally, y'all, I'm gonna be real. When I had, when I was on birth control, I literally did not have a period. Like, I was probably- Plan B on the side before. of the bed with breakfast. 
Playing me on the side of the bed with a, a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. With a glass of water. I don't want that. The whole time I was on birth control, which was about a year, three years. And I was always thinking to myself, like, baby, this ain't right. Like, this ain't how life's supposed to be. Like, I mean, periods are obviously a pain in the ass, but it's life. Like, it's, I guess it's supposed to happen. Like, I'm a lady. Oh, God. I'll <laughs> so take I'm that period any day. So it's kind of weird when I stopped having periods for that amount of time. Like, that was just weird to me. And I was just like, oh, no. So I got off of it, and then right when I got off of it, I got my period back right away. I know a lot of people ask me how long did it take, and it was right away. And I know some people, it takes them years to get their period back, so I'm very thankful that mine came back right away and pretty much consistent, like how, how yeah, it was Yeah, the good before. thing about so a period is you're supposed to have it. That damn and, race and away. <laughs> Young ass talking about women really not supposed to bleed. Listen, friend. Women really supposed to bleed. You supposed to bleed every month. All right. And if you don't, that's a problemo. Okay. A big one. You understand what I'm saying? You got something that build up in that uterus. All right. Unfortunately, we have a uterus and you have, um, you know, a sac that uh, builds up every month and it breaks. And then... You got a period. That shit got to clean out. Got to come up out of there. It can't stay. But it happens every month. It just, you know, it builds up every month. That ball of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call it. Because y'all, the worst shit in the world is when you don't know you coming on your period. And then you suddenly like, oh, shit, I got to use the bathroom. And then <laughs> I always call it the puck. <laughs> Damn. To not get pregnant, that's unfortunate. Much birth control. That's how I don't know I got pregnant. You cannot get pregnant by birth control. You cannot get pregnant by a condom, which I mean, you can get. Honestly, you can get pregnant <clears throat> anyway. Oh, that's it. But I mean, birth control, mm, other, and not not just not just having sex, like not doing nothing at all. That's ways you could not have a baby. But what's the other? Other, but <laughs> yo, dear, I mean, birth control, mm, other, <laughs> excuse me, birth control or other, but I mean, birth control, mm, other, <laughs> it'd be her, her little hints for me. And not, Ray should have kept just, that to herself. I'm telling like you, she was dead ass serious. I said, What the hell? Baby. But the Who next topic that? was money budgeting. Okay. When it comes to me budgeting, like when it comes to money and all that, this is how I do it, y'all. I know what I'm saying? This is how everybody should do it. This is how I do it. So, I even. I hate when corn more than my you teeth, spend. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I actually save probably 100 times more than I spend. And so, let me give y'all an example. So, say for instance. And, and, and do because millionaires don't spend their money. So, like, everybody has a vice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a vice. And, girl, <laughs> rich people don't spend their own money. Instance, I'm doing a brand deal or I'm getting paid a certain amount of money. Let's just say, have a day with speaker. $30,000, $50,000 or whatever. It's the old and I also just got paid from something else. Whatever the new check is coming up, that whole check is going into my savings. Like, it's not going as a regular. If I'm getting paid, if I'm getting a check for $10,000, the whole thing is going into my savings. And when it's time for the next pay period <clears throat> or something else, that whole check is going into my savings. I also have an accountant, and when I calculate <clears throat> how much I'm spending a month or for that month <clears throat> versus how much I'm making that month, I put what I need in my check-in or my business account for that month, like what I have to cover for that month. And I also pay myself through my company. That's how I do it that way. And anything outside of that is savings. Like anything outside of what I have to spend for this month or what I'm paying for this month. Like I'm, I'm really just getting hip to that paying yourself shit. My worker. Been told that forever, but like I really understand it. I'm paying rent. I'm paying what else? I mean, I don't have a car note. 
But anything like that, like <clears throat> it's taking consideration. All it's buying the Tesla for me. All of that. Dang. Light bills. All that type of stuff. <clears throat> Outside of everything like that, I put aside <laughs> for that month. Damn. And then anything that I make in between outside of month. Bitch, it's the bought the Tesla. <laughs> I don't have a car, no. Excuse me. Girl, probably that three hundred thousand dollar car. Damn. And that's probably. I don't even know what what Tesla she got. Monthly expenses. That's what I'm saving. So if my monthly expenses come up to be how do you pay yourself thirty thousand dollars total for a month, but I made two hundred thousand that month. You do the math for how much I'm saving. Wait, say that again. I made two hundred thousand that month. It's thirty thousand dollars total for a month, but I made two hundred thousand that month. You do the math for how much I'm saving. God damn. Yo, if you spent thirty thousand for the month, which could be bills included, and then you know miscellaneous shit, and you got paid two hundred thousand dollars that month, I feel like in that thirty thousand she might have paid herself too. So, Model X, how much is that? So, when you have a business and you pay yourself, you pay yourself whatever you want to pay yourself. So, however much you make. A month, a week. Like she said, when she get a brand deal or something, she put the whole damn brand deal in her savings. But whatever other income, she has to pay herself from that. So it just, it depends. If somebody making $30,000 a month and they want to pay themselves 500 a month, they can. See, the thing is, people like to sue... Um the fuck happened to my damn hand what? yo what is this oh uh, hold on what the fuck is this look I definitely say more than I spend and it's kind of like what I would tell y'all just say more than you spend Oh, this is good. Somebody said, gaining weight. Do you feel like you gotta be happy to maintain your weight? I feel like that can go both ways because it is a such thing as happy weight. It is. But it's also a such thing as too much happy weight. And I'ma tell y'all how. <clears throat> you can be so happy because of anything. You can just be happy. And like food, food is good. Like food makes me happy. <laughs> so like if I'm so happy, like I'll just be eating it, eating it, eating it, eating it, eating it. And then boom, you gain weight, happy weight, because obviously you was happy, so you was happy you was eating. Same thing as like, like being sad or head. being depressed. Like you can eat. Why well, she freely throws out the big ass numbers out like it's normal? Oh God! Like say for instance, I make two hundred thousand dollars for the month. You do the math. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> eat, eat. Same thing with being happy. I'm but aggravated. You also can what the fuck is this? be so happy and be in your right mind and you can feel better if you're working out. So it kind of, it goes hand to hand. I got feel like that? these past months, I've been so happy. Well, before I've been so happy, I was just eating and I kind of like slacked up on working out. But then nothing stopped because I'm still happy. I got back in the gym and I just feel like so much better. Like working out makes you feel 10 times better. Your body, your mind, like your thoughts. Like everything, how you feel in the morning, it's a complete different feeling when you work out versus when you don't work out. So I feel like you have to be happy to maintain weight for sure, but it can be a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> okay, this is a topic I could talk about. Dating while being a public figure. I feel like that was kind of like the big thing. It was like my whole, my whole main thing that I was just worried about. And it was just kind of like, oh, dating, uh, yeah. You never know people's intentions. You never know who's going to have your best interest. You never know who is. I would never know uh, who's dating me because of me or because they really, really like me or because, oh, this is Diera and like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like that was like always my worry. So I feel like that's a, a downfall with being like an influencer or being someone known because it's kind of like looking for people. You just never know who have your best interest. But I feel like you never know oh, how? however when you meet somebody do i you need really to leave it off rip like when you meet somebody you will know automatically if they have your best interest so yeah i feel like for me like i feel like <laughs> if i automatically 
sense because I, I could sit this, I could sense this with anybody like relationships friends all of that if I'm meeting somebody for the first time I could automatically feel they vibe like and if you your vibe ain't vibing baby you are you really gotta worry about me talking to you ever again so oh, I have a good judgment on people so I know to the point where if this person has my best interest or this person is like me for me or if this person is only you know what I'm saying so that's what it's like but you know I keep things real I keep things real low key and I don't really give anybody the time of day I feel like I it's feel like genuine. for even a second like a split second that they not really genuine oh. or they not really liking me for me oh, like yeah, or just trying girl, to get to know me like, nah like when me and Kim broke up it was so many people in my DMs alright well like give me a chance and I'm just like first of all I just got a relationship second of all you not even somebody I approach because who even approach somebody when they just got out of a relationship so Should and I, I don't like in between it <laughs> believe it or not y'all if anybody want to if anybody i feel like if anybody want to talk to me <laughs> dms is not the way like i don't like to meet somebody in person versus on the in dms because people will really come at me in dms like i'm not your average shit and just because you got a name or just because you somebody don't mean you gonna get a response <laughs> so i feel like nah how do i keep details of my life private i just do and since <laughs> i am a I private just person do. i really 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 determine on what i feel should you know stay private and what i feel like okay i can let people in i can tell y'all a little something something so it's just a matter of what i'm thinking if i feel like this is not gonna be something i'm okay with i'm not gonna do it i keep a lot of things in my private life private for obvious reasons so it was why I haven't been posting on YouTube. I really haven't been posting on YouTube like that because she needed to get like these I videos said, together. How y'all don't see that? <laughs> I've been working, literally, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Like your girl has literally been working. When I say working, I mean working, working hard. And YouTube, I feel like takes a lot of my time. It does. And when I do YouTube, I don't just want to put up stuff and I just don't want to upload things just to do it. Like I actually yeah, that's enjoy where I'm at now. making videos and I enjoy yeah. making content. So I like my content to be cute, except pleasing. My quality is nice. My idea for my video is a good one. Like I feel like people want to watch. I like to take my time. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So I like to take my time with things. I like things to be perfect. If I'm working, I'm busy back and 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 forth. Half the time I'm not even home. I'm not posting because I'm working. And I'm not trying to just throw up anything. Are you at peace with yourself and who you are surrounded by? And that is 100% facts. Yes, I am at peace. And yes, I am at peace with people around me. Everybody around me. Everybody in my circle. My circle are nothing but supportive. Nothing but helpful. Nothing but encouraging. And nothing but just really, really, really happy for me. And I like this, so I'm at peace. Okay, this is another topic, and then I'm gonna do one more. And then your girl's done because I'm kind of full. <laughs> but this is pretty much like how to just ignore what other people think about you. And I feel like for me, girl, it's easier for me folks. to ignore like negativity or ignore what people think about me, think about me or whatever the case may be because I know who I am deep down inside and who I am on social media. It's who I am in real life, but like I said before, I am 10 times, when I say 10 times, 100,000 million times better in, in person, That's I facts. mean that. I feel like when it That's comes facts. to that, nobody who I feel have an opinion on me know me. Like, you don't know me. <laughs> Anybody who have an opinion on me can be my family and my friends or people who actually know me. You see what I'm saying? Or know, know me before. Half the time, people who have an opinion on me don't even know me. And I know who I am because... I mean, I live with myself. I'm inside my body 24 <laughs> seven. So that's kind of how I can Aggravate. ignore it because there's no point of responding to something or addressing something that you know isn't true or isn't, you know, real. So, and you already know who you are. So it's really no point. Pretty much just asking me about work, brand deals. So yes, y'all, I am extremely thankful for all the sponsorships and all the brand deals that I've gotten because y'all when I say this is like a dream come true, I mean it. It's it's some crab on here, y'all. So I'm getting it so we don't waste the crab under the on the table. So don't mind what I'm doing. But I'm am hundred percent grateful for all the brand deals that I've received and have received. Because y'all 
I have gotten <laughs> so many sponsorships from brands that I'm kind of like, dang, like I literally shot with this brand all the time before I even got a sponsorship. So it's kind of amazing. But I'm really grateful for it. I really love the brands I work with. I enjoy your products that I work with. I believe the first brand deal on this channel, which I have more coming, y'all. Okay. So stay friend. tuned for those. But the first brand deal I did on my channel was K Spade. And y'all, I was just like, ah, Okay, I know that was a big deal. I bought their products before. And and I love their products. So I was sound like, damn, Spade, you know, Spade, Spade is a big But it's stuff like that. Like, I just be like so excited and I'll be so grateful for it because like I said, past the time I'll be so hard on myself and then good news and great opportunities knock on my door like that. And I'm kind of like, dear, why do you even be stressing when you really, like you good. So I'm grateful for all the brand deals and I have a lot of more brand deals and brands that I'm working with that I'm super excited to work with. And it's kind of like a dream come true. So your girl is happy. But that is pretty much it. I think I did all the topics for the main part. Any other topics or anything else y'all want me to talk about or discuss during the mukbang, let me know. And next time it's gonna be something different. So comment below what y'all want me to eat next because it's not gonna be seafood. So anything other than okay. seafood, like I'm thinking, like I said, maybe Haitian food or pasta or soul food or like lie. a dessert like y'all. It's giving soul food. I ate Firehouse today. I gotta see what that mukbang look like. But yeah. I love cake. I love cake. I love cookies. I love brownies. So maybe I could do dessert. Maybe I could eat dessert in a mukbang. That is all mm. for the mukbang, y'all. And again, comment below and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next bloody vlog tomorrow. I love you all. Bye. <laughs> Yo, it's giving seafood for, I mean, soul food from one of my um mukbangs but um listen i love y'all i appreciate y'all i will see y'all in her next video yeah, yeah.